Welcome to the next app tutorial. In this session, you are going to see about how to backup, restore MySQL, MariaDB, and PostGRE SQL using Auto MySQL Backup and Auto PostGRE SQL Backup tools. For that, you need to install EPTITUD install MariaDB hyphen client. Now I'm going to install MariaDB server. For that, aptitud install MariaDB hyphen server. Now I'm going to install postgre SQL. For that, aptitud have to install postgre SQL. It is asking for confirmation. Now I am going to install PostGRE SQL client. CLINT. Now I am going to create two database by using MySQL. For that, MySQL. I am going to create one database in the name of MariaDB. Create database. Database name M A R I A hyphen underscore D B. Now the database has been created. Now I am going to create table inside the Maria underscore D B database. For that I am going to use the database. Use space Maria underscore D B. Now I am inside Maria D B. Now I am going to create table. For that create table. The name of the table and you need to enter the fields that you need inside the table. I need ID for that int auto increment primary key and I'm going to give name column. For that, I'm going to give var char and number of characters is 20 and active. For that, I'm going to set boolean. Now the table has been created. Now I'm going to enter the values inside the table. For that, insert into the name of the table values space the values that you need to enter inside the table now one row has been created inside the table now i'm going to enter another one row for that insert into the next values one or two comma user two zero now another one row has been created inside the table now i'm going to create one new db in the name of post gre SQL DB for that create database name of the database is post GRE SQL underscore DB now the database has been created now I'm going to create table inside the database for that I need to use that database post GRE SQL and underscore DB now I'm going to create table inside that database for that the name of the table and the fields that you need inside the table and then press enter now the table has been created inside post GRE SQL now I'm going to enter the values inside the table 
for that insert into name of the table values name of the user and the boolean value I'm going to insert another one row now I'm going to show you the database for that select start from the name of the table you can be able to see now I'm going to show you the table that is present in MariaDB database for that Maria underscore DB now the database has been changed now I'm going to view the table that is inside the MariaDB for that select star from Linux now you can able to see the table that is present inside the MariaDB now I am going to exit the MySQL now I am going to install auto MySQL backup for that apt-i-t-u-d to install auto MySQL backup it is asking for confirmation during the installation the postfix postfix configuration will be get displayed I am going to give no configuration then it will be installing the auto mysql backup package auto post gre sql backup for that apti tud have to install auto post gre sql backup after installing auto mysql backup now i'm going to create a working directory inside slash opt to download the installation script and run it for that mkdar slash opt slash auto mysql backup now the directory has been created now i'm going to move inside the directory for that cd opt auto mysql backup inside that i am going to download the installation script for that i am going to use duplicate now i am going to extract that zip file for that tar space zxf the name of the file press enter you can able to see now i am going to run the installation script for that dot slash install dot sh press enter press enter and then give y setup has been get completed configure the auto mysql backup you need to move inside the location cd slash etc slash auto mysql backup inside that you need to edit the myserver.config file inside the configuration file you just configure according to your need i am going to make active the configure mysql dump username equal to root and then configure mysql dump password and also i am going to set the password for after that configure mysql dump host i'm going to make it as active and then configure backup directory you need to choose the location where you want to do the backup and configure the database name here you need to mention the name of the database that you have created now i'm going to mention my database name space another one database name db
and make the line as active and here you need to configure the state of backup whether it need a monthly backup or not I'm going to make it as active and for weekly backup and also the daily backup here you can able to activate according to a necessary timing you need to take the backup of your file and make active the configure mysql dump comp and then make this mail contact also active and then change into and change this std how to do q u i e t now activate this line also config mail address equal to root after that save the file now i am going to do mysql database backup for that auto mysql backup space the path of the file etc auto backup mysql and my server.config and then press enter now you can able to see the backup has been created inside my backup folder successfully now i'm going to move to the backup directory path for that cd where backup inside that i'm going to list and show you you can able to see that daily backup monthly backup weekly backup and the status now i'm going to show you the present working directory you can able to see the directory i have mentioned inside the configuration file for the purpose of backup i'm going to show you inside the dd directory for that ls hyphen l capital r dd inside the directory you can able to see for MariaDB, it has been created to backup, and for PostgreSQL, it has been created to backup. Now I am going to set cron tab entry auto MySQL backup at the time of 3:30 a.m. every day. For that, vim etc cron tab. Inside that, you need to give the entry. I am going to set 3:30 3:30 a.m. of every day it is going to take the backup for the 330 it is going to run the script from slash user slash local slash bin slash auto my sql backup space slash etc slash auto my sql backup slash my server dot conf after giving the entry save the file my sql space hyphen u space root space hyphen p now i am going to delete maria hyphen db for that drop space data base space the name of the database m a r i a underscore db now i have deleted the database now i'm going to show you now i'm going to create new database with the same name for that create space data base space the name of the database now i'm going to exit my sql for that i'm going to move to the backup directory cd where backup daily inside that maria db you can able to see it has taken two backup at the time of 10 hours and one minute and 10 hours three minutes now i'm going to restore the first one before that I am going to unzip that package for that gunzip 
space the name of the package and then press enter now you can able to see it has been extracted now, now I am going to backup this extracted database for that my SQL space hyphen u space root space hyphen p space the, the name of the empty database that is created inside the my SQL is maria underscore db space less than symbol space the name of the backup which you need to be restored it will be asking for password enter the password and press enter now the database has been successfully restored now i am going to show to you hyphen u root hyphen b I am going to use the MariaDB. Use Maria underscore DB. I am going to show you the table. Select star from Linux. You can able to see the backup database. Now I am going to exit it. Now I am going to show you how to take backup by using auto post GRE SQL. For that, make a directory dir slash opt slash auto host gre sql backup that cd slash opt auto host gre sql backup. Now I am going to download the script by using wget. I am going to rename the auto post gre sql backup dot sh dot 1.0 to auto post gre sql backup dot sh auto post gre sql dot sh now I am going to change the permission of that file chmod 7 double file auto post grl auto post gre sql backup dot sh and then press enter i am going to start the post gre sql service for that service the name of the service is post gre sql space start dr hyphen p slash var slash ckup slash db slash auto post gre sql vsc kup the backup directory has been created now I am going to do configuration, configuration for auto post GRE SQL backup. For that, then slash etc slash default inside that yes you username and the username should be post GRES. That will be default for Debian systems. And db host in backup directory you need to specify the directory to which you need to take backup of the database after that you just save the file now give the permission for backup directory chmod hyphen capital r 0770 slash backup slash db slash auto post gre sql backup and then press enter you have to change the group permission of the directory also as post gres ch grp space hyphen capital r 
SPOSTGRES on the directories where backup db auto post backup now I am going to assign the cron tab for the user to take auto backup so cron tab space iPhone u space post gres space iPhone e inside that you need to specify that time I am going to take 3.30 am on the directory after that save the file now the cron tab has been set now I am going to switch to GRES user to take backup so SU ST GRES it has been switched over now I am going to take the backup for that auto post GRE SQL backup it is a script it need to be get executed press enter it will be asking for password so the next C after the backup has been taken move to the directory to check the backup cd space the path ls inside that daily report ls inside that post grs you can able to see that it has taken a backup back to restore that file into the db for that command is concept space iphone c the name of the database wiping symbol psql space the database name it will be giving a permission denied you have to run by using sudo sudo now it has been successfully backupped and the backup file has been restored to the database thank you for watching for more information visit www.linuxhelp.com